Thompson and welcome to Inside SoCal. May marks two important celebrations, Mother's Day today and Asian American Pacific Islander or AAPI Heritage Month. So we're celebrating both, sharing the stories of SoCal AAPI community members and how their heritage and matriarchs influence their lives. A seasoned journalist for Los Angeles Magazine, Food and Wine and Others, Andy Wang was tapped to sit on the advisory board for a new organization to help give voice to LA's AAPI community. So AAPI LA is just this new initiative that Mayor Garcetti and his office started to give voice to the concerns of the Asian American Pacific Islander community in LA, highlighting small businesses and how they struggled during the pandemic and are continuing to struggle. And also just connecting these communities we have a Thai town, we have a historic Filipino town, we have a Korea town. No, there's all these different vital communities and we want to connect each other more. Tell us about some of the chefs um, in the AAPI community that are doing some really exciting things. Rice Box, which is a Cantonese barbecue specialist that is really modernizing um, Cantonese barbecue like crispy pork and char siu in downtown LA. There's obviously Shirley Chung at Miss Chi Cafe and the forthcoming Dumpling Mafia restaurant. She makes, you know, cheeseburger dumplings and also traditional dumplings and noodles. And there's um, uh, Mark Okuda at the Brother Sushi who took over just, you know, this old school sushi restaurant in Woodland Hills and really made it his own. And during the pandemic, he was making the most beautiful chirashi boxes. And then there's Li Wei Liao who owns The Joint, which is this fish market that serves dry-aged fish and sells it to some of the best restaurants in LA. You know, Li Wei's not far from Anna Jack Tai in Sherman Oaks, um, uh, which has been taken over by Justin, who's the son of the original owner. He just made it his own doing like Thai omakase, Thai Taco Tuesday with fish from the joint. With Mother's Day upon us, I would be remiss if I didn't ask about your mom. How has she inspired you and perhaps um, helped you down your career path? My mom, like a lot of first generation immigrants, they worked in hospitality just because they had to. So she was a waitress who worked herself through college. So I think that work ethic, which is also the thing that influences just a lot of actual, you know, Asian American chefs and entrepreneurs and creators. If there's one takeaway that you would love people to have for AAPI Heritage Month, what would it be? Go support AAPI-owned businesses in your neighborhood. Obviously, just go buy food that you like in, in the neighborhood you happen to live in, and that's a good first start. Celebrity makeup artist and eyebrow expert Danny Kamiko Vincent drew the attention of Sandra O oh and others thanks to her precision based beauty product line. It all started when she unearthed secrets of her Japanese heritage. Kimiko is Japanese for energy, beauty, and youth. And your middle name, right? And my middle name, which worked out well. Uh, we make everything in Japan, and it's all about precision brow tools to help you master your brows. My mother's side has had a samurai sword passed down for hundreds of years, and so I took a trip to Japan to try and figure out where these samurai were, where the last samurai came from. And I actually only had photos of my grandparents who had been there maybe 40, 50 years prior. I ended up in a small town in a temple showing the priest photos saying, am I in the right place? <laughs> and he looked at the photos and I said, that's my grandfather. And then he looked at me and said, well, he's standing with my grandfather. You are in the right place. <laughs> Really? It was like my hair stood up. I went, oh my gosh, we found it. My interest in sword making and really trying to discover um, the craftsmanship behind it, I learned that it takes up to a year and a half to make a single sword. I just got inspired to create products that had that as their core ethos. We are known for our Japanese eyebrow products. For me, your brow pencil, your brow gel, those are your precision tools to essentially master your brows and it's inspired really by the tools and the craftsmanship of these sword makers. We actually have a kimono that's been passed down from my great-grandmother, which I have here now from my mother, and there are little purple flowers and gold, and looking at that as a child, that really influenced the colors and um, the look of the brand. It is AAPI Heritage Month, so I would love to know from you what you hope people take away from this month. I think it's really what makes our community beautiful to have this diversity and um, it's a melting pot and I just, I just love that. Thank you for celebrating with us today. We hope you join us next week. Until then, I'm Erica Olson and happy Mother's Day. Inside SoCal is presented by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness.